Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to South Philly and South Florida uh, to discuss the Joey Merlino Podcast. The show goes on. Um, there was some speculation last week when news broke that uh, the skinny Joey Merlino's very popular, uh, somewhat controversial uh, podcast and social media brand has uh, parted ways in their business relationship with Action Park Media, which was the media platform ran by Kevin Conley, the Hollywood actor and director uh, from the show Entourage. Uh, he uh, has Action Park Media with some uh, backers, and they're the ones that decided to invest in the skinny and platform the reputed uh, Mafia Don of the Philadelphia La Cosa Nostra. Um, podcast started in August. It's getting uh, quite a quite a bit of traction in in you know the niche. Uh, it's got a a, ra a rabid following of, of Joey followers and and lovers, and it's you know it's a lot of fun uh, getting to kind of hang out with Joey, and and that's what a lot of this has become. Uh, but he no longer has the backing of Kevin Connolly and Action Park Media. I want to report on a couple of things that I've been able to dig up behind the scenes on this. Um, I'll credit uh, Jeff Nadu uh, over at Sit Down News for um, breaking this news. But the more I kind of... Not, it's not everything that meets the eye. I think there's all this buzzing controversy that I acknowledge I've help stir up um and there might be the belief from you know looking at this news last week that this had something to do with uh the, the podcast controversy and people being you know according to my sources upset people in new york uh, some people in in joey's own camp in in south philly um and that's just not the case this has nothing to do with that this was just strictly business um there was no pressure being put on Kevin Conley's people. It had nothing to do with uh, a Instagram post a day or two before the the announcement um, of uh, Kevin Conley hanging out with a informant, uh, Chris Pacello, uh, from the from the Brooklyn Bonanno faction. This was just you know just business and uh, two parties that worked together for six or seven months and didn't want to continue working with each other for whatever reason. So. I also can report that there's new financing and this is, this is a train that's going to keep rolling. Um, last week they put out their Thursday episode, just like they always do. They'll put out a Thursday episode this week. It's interesting to note that um, last week they brought on a long time Philly underworld figure slash stand-up comedian slash colorful um Merlino confidant Ralphie had uh, a bruzy and um, Ralphie had and, and Joey got pinched together in like 99 uh, running stolen merch scams um, in like South Philly parking lots and st storage lots. They were selling uh, bikes and baby formula and electric fans. And the one that I really got a kick out of was back in 1999. If you went to Ralphie Head, who was uh, running point on that for Joey, you could get a North Carolina Nike uh, track suit that was at that point going for $60, $65. Right now it's probably going for a buck 60, 200 bucks. You could get it for five bucks in South Philly in the summer of 1998. Uh, but, you know, Ralphie came on and uh, like I said, the show goes on full steam ahead. Uh, he's not slowing down. He doesn't care what anybody says and yeah, more power to him. So, just wanted to report what I'm hearing and he's celebrating his birthday this weekend. So happy birthday, Joey Merlino, OG pod, Scott Bernstein. Oh.